Hello people, which of the two GRs, the Toyota GR86 and the Toyota GR Corolla would you spend your money on to make the most sense? Of course, not everyone here is about what makes sense as there are pure fanboys and loyalists to the best, but arguably the absence of the brilliantly engaging all-wheel drive Toyota GR Yaris in the state size leaves a hole that might be filled with the partially confirmed most anticipated GR Corolla hatch. Since these two cars fill almost the same needs, the boy racer, the fun fathers, and the affordable sports car needs, let us try and put them alongside each other with scanty, rumored, and partial details to kind of ascertain which of them makes the most sense when they eventually become realities and options in our showrooms and dealerships. First of all, let me detail the GR Corolla before putting the prominent technical details together. Okay, so starting with the Corolla. It is actually a part of the GR series, which started with the GR Supra, the GR Yaris, and then the GR86. So the Toyota's GR series is gradually growing and expanding its product lineup with the addition of the GR Yaris, which has been given a special body. Now the GR86 will continue after this, and it is the Corolla that is expected to continue after the GR86 is fully done okay so the gr series is a lineup that provides users with the fun of riding a car by tuning a normal model to make it a sports model that is the concept behind the gazoo racers lining up the regular toyota product now the gr corolla is the first gr model to use a gac platform and will be gr model most accepted by most consumers we believe when considering the size and price described later part of the episode the base will be the corolla sports which has an easy to use five door body the front and rear fenders will be widened to achieve thread expansion and creating a more powerful look as expected there is no difference as much as the yaris and the yaris gr which have different numbers of doors but special products are appointed for the front bumpers and aero parts and the difference is sufficiently um, produced now there is also a hydrogen powered corolla with a GRRS engine in the works in the toyota's pursuit of making real engaging not boring fun sports cars for the millennials here's how it sounds take a look and take a listen It pretty much sounds good great right getting ready for the super tycoon racer series now the publication that made all these details available assured that a family version of the gr corolla would also arrive that is a gr corolla touring and a hybrid variant as well for specific markets most of the information that we have here are deductions reports we are however expecting toyota gr to make an official announcement sooner than later and on the other hand our beloved gr86 is a feature of the joint development of subaru brz and the gr86 by subaru and toyota gazoo racing that most of us are craving for the tgr are focusing on giving each individual vehicle a typical different driving taste while sharing the base of the same car with the subaru brz and whilst the corolla is unconfirmed it is to be noted that the technical details being shared here for the new gr86 is confirmed and based on the japanese version of the um, gr86 let's keep the fire burning started with the key features of the gr86 as opposed to the gr corolla expected and let's start with availability which is a key one for everyone okay now the gr86 in japan is confirmed to be delivered starting from fall of 2021 so we are expecting to see early deliveries of the vehicle so we can do a lot more testing whilst the gr corolla is just in the early stages of its inception uh, it is rumored to be a 2022 production vehicle for the 2023 year model as it comes after the completion of the gr86 just as 
the Supra was followed by the GR86, you know. So that's how it stands with availability. But let's get to the brain room, the power room, where most of us are all interested in finding out exactly what these two cars have in common or have not in common. So the GR86 here, as we all have come to realize, it carries a horizontally opposed Subaru BRZ Boxer 2.4 liter four cylinder direct port fuel injection DS4 engine which produces 228 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque with a top speed of 173 kilometers per hour and it scoots itself from 0 to 100 kilometers in 6.3 seconds this has uh, been in a public known for a while but that just opposed to the Toyota Corolla is that the Toyota Corolla is coming in with a spiffed up GR Toyota Yaris Fairbow charged 1.6 liter three cylinder engine which produces a whooping 296 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque and tops at 230 kilometers and does zero to 60 kilometers in expected 5.5 seconds this is mind-blowing looking at the displacement of both engines a 2.4 liter and a 1.63 cylinder engine um, the power output difference will make up for the weight difference when we get to the technical dimensions the physical dimensions um, in a jiffy so that is how we stand are you also asking yourself how these regular production models put all that power to the ground yes of course that has to be dealt with by the transmission also and so let's focus our attention on the transmission and the gr86 as we've all known comes with a six-speed manual and a six-speed automatic transmission and the automatic transmission ones comes with paddle shifters and improved rev matching that is expected to be carried over from the gt86 again you have an all-wheel drive um, feature that is expected to be optional on the automatic transmission variations you drop down to the gr corolla and it's something close to the gir is a six-speed manual transmission with an all-wheel drive and a slip differential on both sides of the drive wheels accounting for improved grip and cornering the body forms that we've already seen is that the GR86 is a two-door sports coupe going against the Mazda Miata and then probably the base model for the Nissan Z series. But the GR Corolla is a five-door sports hatch that goes up against the likes of the Vito View GTI and R. Um, Honda Civic Type R and probably the Ford Focus ST. So these obviously would be bigger in terms of dimensions than the GR86. So let's go have a look at the dimensions in this case. Now the GR86 has a length of 4,265 millimeters as opposed to the GR Corolla that comes with 4,400 millimeters. That is an increase of 135 millimeters over the gr86 so the corolla is a bit longer than the gr86 um, again when you drop down to width it is 60 millimeters wider than the regular gr86 which is um 1775 millimeters 1775 millimeters wider and the corolla sits at 1835 millimeters wider you drop down to height same 13 10 millimeters that's 1310 millimeters for the gr86 and then the corolla is at 1450 1450 millimeters that is 140 millimeters longer or taller than the gr86 again in terms of weight the gr corolla is somehow 10 kilograms heavier than the gr86 which says that's 1270 kilograms for the japanese versions and so you would understand why the power output is needed so that you know the heavier body you carry the more power you need to move it around and so that makes sense again when it comes to ground clearance it is actually unknown for now but the drivetrain is such that um the gr86 is a front wheel drive with an all-wheel drive option on the automatic transmission versions which we have already stated however the corolla is an all-wheel drive standard with a manual transmission and you've got the um, red line at 7400 rpm for the gr86 and the corolla will be topping up somewhere around 7600 rpm 
just a little um you know close to the the GIRs or even more than the GIRs and they all sit on 18 inch rims however the Corolla would behave a little closely to the GIRs which starts off at a rim 17 to rim 18 and then the GR86 sits on an 18 inch rim 40 by 215 for the numbers of the wheels okay for the tires so basically this is how the dimensions are and um, I believe I got them right going through it let me just round the whole conversation up with the price but before that let me just quickly ask this question do you believe the GR Corolla will be more successful than the GR Yaris and possibly the GR86 if yes kindly put your reasons in the comment section below we very much like to know and are interested it is already generating a hot topic since its inception and um let's wrap it up with a price and as the tgr is currently lip tight on that but the current price estimation stands that the gr86 is expected to be retailing below the gr supra in around thirty-five thousand us dollars while the GR Corolla is expected to retail around 3.3 million yen that is based on the GR Yaris RC model from the official GR Racing website okay that translates into about 30,000 US dollars and it has been heavily rumored that the GR Corolla might sell less than the GR Yaris the GR Yaris might become the icon for the GR Corolla to sell the masses and the cost most of the information as earlier stated that we've placed here are deductions reports and unofficial truth we are however expecting toyota gr racing team to make an official announcement sooner than later okay but based on this we can you know sort of guesstimate and figure out how the future is going to be the very moment these cars become realities options on our table okay so thank you for coming around we are currently working on a test drive of two prototype one xx jesco absolute as the near delivery timelines and so if you are interested and you enjoy content like this kindly subscribe and turn your notification bell on to be alerted and a thumbs up will be welcome and have a good time until we meet again same time bye bye